power poles, you know, they originated in the saltwater market back in the IFA redfish tour days and, and down in Florida. And, and now you find every bass boat and every saltwater boat of anybody that knows anything that they're gonna be running a power pole. And the advantages there is it's silent, it's very secure, it's easy to deploy. And once you put it into, into play, it drops down in that shallow water situation, it's gonna lock your boat right there. So I don't care what the wind's doing, when you've got two of them down like that, you're gonna be locked in a position so you can make a repetitive cast over and over. And I remember a trip last year on Choke Canyon, just out field testing a bait where I literally, I didn't move the boat for almost two hours. I mean, the camera guys are flying the drones. I'm catching a fish about every second or third cast. And, and I just one little, probably 10 yard or less stretch. And I was able to just fan cast, never had to move and just and caught fish over and over. In the old days, before all these advancements, my boat would have drifted off. I'd have been out of position. I probably never even would have realized how many fish that were there because I'd have gone on and, and left that spot. Oh. <laughs> that was a cold shot. I told Russ, I said, we're fixing to catch one. <laughs> uh, these are only pound and a half, two pound fish, but they sure are fun. Hmm. Hook just fell out. I mean, it just, when you get the right weather and the right recipe and fish are doing the right thing, fishing's easy then. I mean, you know, we, we've lived for days like this. And, you know, I can show a lot of great things when it's like this. And it's not always like this, we all know. Many days we go out fishing, we can't get a bite. But when you find days like this where they're just, you know, moving up and you can catch a lot in different sizes, it's just absolutely fun. I mean, you, you have to enjoy this if you're a fisherman.